The video game market is full of cute game experiences, and these games are usually aimed at a family audience and are relaxing and fun to play. However, there are some games out there that first masquerade as cute and friendly before turning into dark, traumatic experiences that embrace the horror genre and trick players with their initial appearance. In this video, we take a look at eight cute games that while seemingly cute and innocent at a first glance, were actually dark and terrifying to play. After booting up an old disused arcade machine called, you guessed it, Pony Island, the player discovers a colourful and cute platform game where a pony gracefully gallops along, leaping over fences in order to reach the finish line. But there's more to this side-scroller than first meets the eye. Soon we find ourselves messing with the game files and trying to fix parts of the code in order to access missing elements of the game. It isn't long before dark forces within the game itself try to lead us astray, with events growing even stranger. We are killed in gruesome ways, begin communicating with demonic figures, music grows distorted and the colours saturate until everything is black and white. Well, apart from all the blood that is. The story twists and turns until it is revealed that the arcade machine itself houses hundreds of trapped souls and we are about to become its next victim unless we can break the cycle and free everyone from within. While not super scary, Pony Island definitely has moments that will creep players out and its ever-changing story will keep you on edge wondering what weird scenarios are going to unfold next. Everyone remembers Furbies, right? Those cute but annoying mechanical critters that could communicate with us as if they were alive, but were, of course, simple battery-powered toys. Well, how about a Christmas-themed game based around getting a knockoff Furby known as Tattletail? We love you. Let's play a game! It sounds pretty cute and harmless, but this is actually a scary horror game in which we play as a young child on the lead up to Christmas Day. Each night we explore the house armed with only a flashlight and our tattletail, who we opened up early. But we're not alone, as Mama, the ultimate tattletail, hunts us through the halls under the cover of darkness, ready to jump scare us at every turn. Mama's coming. Beside the usual jump scares themselves, there are demonic rituals we must complete in order to banish the evil, and a creepy cryptic story to decipher, which centres around the creators of these annoying toys, Waygetter Electronics. We all remember the classic Walt Disney and Fleischer Brothers cartoons, right? Those rubber hose animations always had a slightly creepy appearance, but mostly were cute family entertainment. Bendy and the Ink Machine tells the tale of an animator who journeys back to his old cartoon studio at the invitation of his former friend, who promises he has something exciting to show him. The character of Bendy and the art style itself is cute and cartoonish, but it isn't long before this innocent looking creation will begin to get under your skin, as a series of ever creepy and horrifying situations occur after we power on the ink machine. A demon chases us, inky humanoid figures attack from the flooded depths of the studio, and a dark and mysterious story is drip fed via audio logs and a creepy cast of characters. The further we journey beneath this old workshop, the more horrifying the story becomes, and the game is peppered with jump scares and gruesome sights and sounds. The adorable hand-drawn art style of The Binding of Isaac is deceptive as this game begins and ends in a mostly terrible way. Isaac is an innocent child whose mother goes crazy, believing God is speaking to her and telling her to sacrifice her child. 
After hiding himself away in the basement, Isaac is alone with his thoughts. He must battle against the brutal and disgusting monsters in his mind to try and stop from going insane. Using his own tears as bullets, he vanquishes ever more gruesome creations before facing off against his own mother and crawling inside her body to destroy her heart from within eventually ending up in hell where he must battle the devil himself. This twisted bullet hell shoot em up may look cute at a first glance, but it is one of the most disturbing games on this list with its symbolic imagery and suggestive story actually going places where most games dare not. Among the Sleep sees the player assume the role of a toddler. The game begins with our mother singing to us at the breakfast table as we celebrate our second birthday before carrying us to bed where we can play with our toys, including our best friend, a talking teddy bear named Teddy. My name is Teddy. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's your name? As darkness falls, the toddler explores the house with Teddy and eventually enters a nightmarish realm where he is stalked by two different monsters in the shadows. With a strong atmosphere full of dread and some environments that transform innocent locations such as playgrounds into places of pure fear set against a symbolic story about a broken home and an abusive parent, Among the Sleep manages to be both scary and unsettling in equal measure. It takes our childhood fears and brings them to life within a game. The things that lurk in the shadows, the things that go bump in the night. It also manages to capture that feeling of being lost and alone at several points throughout its story. So yeah, not a particularly happy game, and another title that at first appears to be cute and endearing, but rapidly betrays that premise. I'm sure you've heard of the Five Nights at Freddy's series, and fans will already know the twist that occurred upon people booting up what appeared to be a harmless pizzeria simulator from creator Scott Cawthon and turned out to be FNAF 6 in disguise. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator begins with a happy-go-lucky 1960s marketing infomercial which then leads into what appears to be a cute yet simplistic restaurant management sim. Before long, things take a turn for the worse as we are tasked with keeping an eye on vent movement while completing a checklist of tasks such as ordering supplies. It becomes obvious at this point we are no longer playing a nice little management sim and instead the usual terrifying Five Nights at Freddy's formula. There are jump scares with horrific looking animatronics. A story involving abduction and murder and hardcore gameplay that will test even the most skillful of players. Hiding in the vent system while various animatronics you bring in from the scrap heap outside reanimate and hunt you down never fails to be creepy. And if you downloaded this free to play game for a relaxing simulator, then you're in for a bad time. With a cartoon art style that almost looks like a basic flash animation and a cute wisecracking ghost who aids you while you explore a creepy old house full of cardboard cutout jump scares, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion seems pretty harmless and dorky for its first 15 minutes or so. Outside of the odd arcade machine where we are encouraged to commit mass murder that is. Hello, I am Spooky. However, the further through its 1000 rooms we manage to get, the more realistic certain elements of the game become. Monsters begin to appear and each one has a different attack to learn and escape from. We find creepy notes with a troubling backstory to them. Fellow travellers who have experienced horrific acts within this mansion. The mansion eventually turns out to be a research lab in disguise and is full of grotesque and inhumane experimentation. Spooky herself may have ulterior motives too, and not be as happy and cute as she first appears. 
In fact, the end of the game needs to be seen to be believed, and almost feels inspired by the Matrix itself in its craziness. The game nods towards every horror genre, from Japanese horror with demonic schoolgirls, to creepy puppets, to giant bugs and demons, there's something to scare everyone in this game. And it's nothing like you'd imagine when first booting it up and being greeted by Spooky in that opening hallway. Doki Doki Literature Club is at the top of today's list as it is without a doubt one of the scariest and most disturbing games out there, but you wouldn't know it from first looking. In fact, things don't get really weird until you're several hours into this story. We play as a character who we name after ourselves, and the four female characters in the game who make up the Literature Club communicate to us as if they are almost addressing us in real life. Of course, this becomes part of a creepy story eventually, with the game breaking the fourth wall and even deleting files from our computer in order to gain our attention and steer our affection towards a certain character. What begins as a game about joining a high school book club turns into a romance and then a full-on horror game before several endgame twists turn everything we think we know on its head. I don't want to spoil too much here, but this is one genre-defining game experience that has terrified players around the world with its skillful storytelling. There is a lot more to this visual novel than first meets the eye, and some of the sights are absolutely stomach-turning, so be prepared to deal with some heavy themes and make some tough choices along the way. There's no game cuter at the start, and no game more horrifying by the end, so do enter with caution. And that's it for today's video, please remember to give it a like if you did enjoy watching, and maybe drop a comment too, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you never miss an upload. This channel specialises in variety horror content, including creepypasta readings, horror gaming facts and theories, and general interest pop culture horror videos. So, if you're interested in all things spooky, you'll find something to enjoy here at Super Horror Bro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.